Twins in Space Can Twin Astronauts Help Us Get to Mars? By Rebecca Boyle One day at breakfast, Mark Kelly couldn't resist sharing his food with his identical twin brother, Scott. He couldn't really share it because Scott was too far away, so he sent his brother a picture. Sometimes when he sends me pictures of his breakfast, I'm a little envious, Scott said in reply, but he knew his brother was just teasing him. Why would Scott feel jealous about breakfast? Because you can't get hot, fresh toast in space. Up and down. Scott is the commander of the International Space Station ISS, where he has been living for a year. His twin brother, Mark, is also an astronaut, but has spent the last year on Earth. Astronaut Mark Kelly Mark eats regular Earth food, exercises outside, and lives his life as usual. Scott only gets fresh food when cargo ships bring it to space. He can only exercise on a special zero-gravity treadmill and can't go outside without a spacesuit. There are other differences, too. Up in space, Scott gets zapped with more energetic radiation than Mark. And, of course, Scott floats around instead of walking. NASA is studying everything that happens to both twins during the year, with the goal of finding out how living in space affects the human body. They already know that astronauts often get headaches, their eyesight changes, their bones and muscles get weak, and they are more likely to get sick. Scientists wonder whether staying in space longer makes these problems worse. The twins are helping them answer these questions, and that will help prepare future astronauts for long missions to Mars or other distant places. Astronaut Scott Kelly Duplicate Astronauts The twins came up with the idea after Scott was chosen for NASA's one-year ISS mission. The brothers asked NASA how they could answer questions about having a twin who is also an astronaut, and NASA spotted a rare chance to do research. Space flight affects everyone a little different, and every person's health is different. So, how can you tell which changes in health are caused by being in space, and which would have happened anyway? It would help if you can make a copy of your astronaut to stay on the ground as a comparison. Call in the twins. Scott and Mark are identical, so they share the same DNA. They also are both astronauts, so their overall health and training is pretty similar. But how different will Scott be after a year in space? From the International Space Station, Scott has a great view of Earth and 15 sunrises a day. As Susan Bailey, a scientist at Colorado State University who is studying the twins, puts it, Because they are identical, or at least as identical as people get, we can say that any difference we see between the twins is not due to differences in their DNA, but what spaceflight has actually done to the human body. That's why the twins are so important. To help Bailey study those differences, the brothers give themselves medical tests at the same time. They measure themselves every day and give regular blood and other way samples. Scott's samples get sent to Earth on supply shuttles and are flown to a lab in Colorado, where they are analyzed and compared to Mark's. Scott's space on the ISS is cozy. Bungee cords and Velcro keep his stuff from floating around. A dream job. Giving samples might not be the first thing that comes to mind when you think about astronauts, but it's part of the job, and it's a job the Kelly brothers both wanted since they were little kids. Scott and Mark remember watching the 1969 Apollo 11 moon landing when they were five years old and plotting to build their own rocket. Eventually, they both joined the Navy and became test pilots. They both applied to NASA in 1995 and were chosen as astronauts the following year. They are the only pair of twins to both fly in space, but they have never been in space at the same time, and they've never switched places. Although on the day Scott blasted off for the International Space Station, Mark couldn't resist a little joke. He shaved off his mustache and startled the flight controllers when he walked in looking like Scott, who does not have a mustache. He fooled all of us, NASA Chief Charles Bolden told Scott on a phone call later. That's the only way I can tell you two apart. They both say they don't compete with each other, but they do tease each other a little bit. 
For instance, Mark likes to point out that he's the older brother, by just six minutes. But when his year in space is up, Scott's body will probably seem older, just because space flight is so stressful. Hands-free snacking is fun in zero-g, but going outside takes some serious preparation. Notice the speed limit 17,500 sign? That's how fast the ISS is going as it orbits Earth. My older younger brother. Bailey is especially interested in bundles of DNA called chromosomes. A chromosome looks like an X or Y made of a long, twisted up string of DNA. Caps at the end of the arms are called telomeres. Every time a cell divides, the telomeres get a little shorter. Eventually, there is no cap left and that individual cell will die. Your body is replacing worn out cells all the time, but when they wear out too quickly, it can cause health problems. Radiation and stress can shorten telomeres too, Bailey says, and astronauts experience both. Telomeres, colored red, are caps at the ends of chromosomes, tiny bundles of DNA inside cells. Telomeres get shorter every time a cell divides. Imagine strapping yourself to a rocket, launching yourself to space, and staying there for a year, she says. The isolation, the physical stresses, the emotional stresses, and the radiation exposure, all the things we don't get here on Earth. When she looks at Scott's blood, she expects to see his telomeres getting shorter at a faster rate than his brother's. That means that the stress of space is aging Scott more rapidly than Mark. Bailey's study is just one of many. Scientists are also comparing the helpful bacteria that live inside the brothers' stomachs to see how these microbes change in space. Another study will give the twins the same flu shot and compare how their bodies react to it. Yet another looks at how their vision changes over time. At the end of the year, the astronaut twins will be the most studied people on or off the planet, Bailey says. Identical, mostly. All through your life, what you eat and do can change when bits of DNA instructions or genes are switched off or on inside cells. Radiation and stress can also change DNA. As twins get older, they get less alike, though they are still more alike than other people. Home and away. Although spaceflight can be stressful, Scott says the astronauts have a comfortable home on the International Space Station. When he's not busy doing spacewalks or working on science experiments, he takes photos of Earth, writes emails to his family and friends, and watches football. When he misses Earth, sometimes he and the other astronauts play recordings of birds, rain, and other sounds. He misses his family and friends, but he really misses going outside, he says. Australia looks glorious from the station window. This is a very closed environment. We can never leave. The lighting is always pretty much the same. The smells, the sounds, everything is the same, he says. Even most prisoners can get outside occasionally, I think. But we can't, and that's what I miss. After people. And hot breakfast, too. The green glow is the northern lights a rain of energetic particles from the sun colliding with gas in the upper atmosphere. 